Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Uh, I have been having some serious issues lately and that's mainly due to light. Not only light in uh, the room but also light in Sweden. I've been hearing a lot of reviews about different lighting systems and different tools and ad hoc do-it-yourself solutions that really haven't worked out for me. Not even for my DSLR nor my mobile phone and everything I tried to do for the past couple of months has turned out basically like, let's not say a bad word, but unsatisfactory. So I decided to invest in something that just came out on the market. Are you ready? In the Elgato ring light. It is this big. I saw this review trying to figure out what light is best, what should I invest, and instead of spending 100 bucks there, 50 bucks there, or another sort of measly amount on different lighting systems, I thought why not take all that money that I would waste on junk and invest into something that's really worth it. So I ended up seeing a lot of reviews on this baby right here, and also with the promise that this is the only light you would need when shooting YouTube videos, especially facing the camera. Which is something I do quite often. Uh, so let's see what's in the box and if this baby is actually worth it. For your information right now, I am having uh, in this room a lamp up in the ceiling, which is an LED and two sort of photography lights that I bought for a couple of years ago on Amazon. like professional studio light set which as you've seen from my previous videos really don't do the trick so I kind of exaggerated with the blade let's get started one thing I got this from a local shop called the uh, Dustin and one thing that I didn't like was the fact that they didn't say that I don't have it in stock. I found out after the purchase and the reason I bought it from them initially was because I assumed they had it in stock. Although the other sort of competitor shop, El Giganten, did say that they won't get it in stock until the 21st, which was um, two days ago. After placing the order, uh, they promised that they will get it in stock on the 21st and that they will deliver it. However, it only came today, which is on the 23rd. So that's a little bit too late for my taste. I chose to pick it up personally because the postage system today is really not that keen. Okay, this is a big ass instruction. Uh, Panel. Okay, why, why does it have the sides? It's different information. I don't even know how to hold this so you can see it as well. Uh, configuration, okay, systems, stuff I need to work on. And it's, okay, multiple languages. So, as big as the box is the instruction. I think this could actually make a very nice placement on the wall. If it actually requires that much to sort of understand. Perfectly compact packed. One of the comments I heard from the concept store employees was that they don't have a box big enough and if a uh, bag big enough for this to fit. So if I could just take it like that, I was like, yeah, sure, no problem. Okay, so this is the table support. We'll get to that in a moment. We're probably gonna break for switching lights and seeing the difference. So this is the ring light. It's quite big, I would say. Quite lightweight. I don't know how many grams it has. It has the on, off and reset button. May become hot during prolonged use. Handle with caution. Okay. 
It has this little uh, knob right here. Uh, that's gonna be a problem. Actually, no, because I have to twist my camera in here. Or do I need a separate tripod for that too? I know for a phone, I actually purchased the mounting system that could fit this type of screw. But hmm, let's see. Next, 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 next. What do you call this? Power plug with multiple adapter system and nope, nope. Hell no. Bingo. Oh, here it is. I actually found the, <laughs> the thing that I was looking for. Obviously, it was supposed to have it, so I'm guessing that goes there. Okay, let's plug this in. It's uh, literally plug and play, click and play. What is this for? Anyway. So the box doesn't contain so many things. It's basically the plug, the um, support, which if I remember, okay, it's completely adjustable, which is gonna be fun. And the ring light, the mount. So just a couple of things. So it's a big, big box. I'm guessing it's for compact transportation. So the product doesn't get damaged for that price. Okay. Let's plug it in. Am I supposed to do something else? So yes, uh, I forgot that I actually read in other reviews that it takes a couple of seconds until it turns on. So you tell me, how's the light? It has a, okay, it has a plus. And a minus button so you can, ooh, this is quite sleek. And you have the plus, which is higher intensity. Okay. Uh, now that I've showed you exactly what's in the box. So as I said, not much. The ring, the support, the camera mount, you could say, and uh, the plug with different uh, mounts for different probably plug systems throughout the world. We're gonna mount it now and see the difference between this and I think the final voiceover recording would be of the final result when we would see the difference between the first part of the video and the second part when we're gonna have the system in place. So first thing I noticed right now is that on the shortest length, as you can see right here, when it is uh, not like extracted, this uh, stand, like one legged stand, is too high for a table setting. So the camera will be much, much higher. But for a standing setting, it would be quite good. And if you have problems about sitting still, especially on a gaming chair, I think just standing will Keep you a little bit more centered when filming videos. I'm actually curious to see the quality of this. So this is, I would say, probably medium. Okay, the stand is a little bit too wobbly, I would say. But uh, other than that, now we're gonna turn off the lights and see what the difference is, actually. If there's more shadow or less shadow behind me. 
If not, I'm actually curious how it is and sort of how it works without uh, my glasses on and how much of the ring light can you actually see in my eyeballs. Um, other than that, again, I'm a little bit worried-ish about the stability of this thing. Uh, this is using a bokeh lens uh, for Sony. Um, I'm actually curious how it will perform with different type of lenses and of course with the phone. But for now, I'm uh, blinded by the lights as usual. And this is, uh, as I said, at half potency. It is quite, it's turning pink right about now. But if I use my uh, glasses, I think I can withstand this a little bit longer. Another thing I want to add and sort of hack to this um, system right now is put in place that mirror I was talking about so I can actually see myself and how I react in front of the camera and what's actually filming. Because what is very important to me is the fact that I could do this sort of setup on my by myself and not need every constant video I make another person sitting behind the camera, which can be quite troublesome. Design-wise, this ring light is quite amazing. Uh, it does come at a hefty price, but as I said, I will see in a proper couple of videos how it will perform and if it needs any extra backing lights. If I will be satisfied with this video, I'll probably invest also in the Elgato stand lights for desktop or so on as adjacent to this. So this is minimum intensity. And now we're gonna go up with the light. To be honest, I'm also very curious how this ring light performs in photography because they advertise that it could be quite a successful addition to your light system. Does it create shadow? So, uh, my cameraman slash life partner just put his hand against the ring and he's doing that all around, like moving like this, just to see if it creates any shadows on my face and apparently nothing is happening. So that's another plus on this Elgato ring. Other than that, it's 23rd of December. It's quite uh, a hectic day for most of you who haven't shopped presents. If you know somebody who probably would be interested in photography or starting a YouTube channel, especially if it's your kid, I suggest buying one of these because it's going to save you a lot of space and design uh, appeal in your room. Because last thing you want to have is backdrop umbrellas and all that mess circulating in your living room or wherever you're shooting. So we're back um, after about an hour, an hour and a half of trying to connect this ring to the goddamn Wi-Fi network. Although it was advertised as being uh, available to 2.4 or 5 gigahertz networks, says right here, it wasn't that easy. As we tried to sort of uh, connect our uh, devices and link them to the Elgato ring, we ran into some various problems. Uh, such as the uh, device could not be found, we tried to reset the ring, we, tried, we did not reset the router, we're not that crazy because our router hosts multiple uh, networks and uh, systems that are, have been taking us quite a long time to secure and put in place. So the solution to that was not resetting, was not connecting via phone or via Android or via computer, was connecting via the 2.4 gigahertz network which it shouldn't be like that today when we have 5G networks everywhere. We shouldn't be going back to 2.4 just because. However, now that we've set it up, uh, I can actually access this device from my phone right here. And basically, I'm just gonna show you a small demonstration in color tuning. So this is at 7,000 Kelvin going all the way to 2,900 Kelvin, which is a warm light. This is at 100% right now. So if I go to 50, it's quite interesting. Another thing that I actually, uh, it's, it became a little bit more obvious after we did the sort of shooting and the mounting is that absolutely this is a gamer light. Why? Because it was thought and engineered to be put behind a computer breakout screen. For us, 
vloggers or people who create video content by just talking to the camera and not gaming in the same time, the height is inadequate of this stance when it's not extended. It actually forces me to move the camera forward towards me and give me this up angle. I mean, this is not 2000 anymore. I'm not a person who's interested in filming sort of point down or shooting point down. I want to have a direct sort of frame. This is quite an illusion trick for making people seem thinner, increasing the sort of visibility on the chest area and things like that which could be nice and dandy if that's what you actually want to achieve. But when you have one and a half contact, me stretching my neck upwards and like always looking up so I can have proper contact is not the best solution on the market. It is quite annoying. However, I have to figure out now a system to place uh, the mirror in or like how should I place the mirror? Because if I look straight ahead right now, it's going to look like I'm talking to somebody else and not to you. So that's a little bit of problem. Uh, however, I already purchased this item, so I have to deal with it and find all sorts of hacks in how to make it work. Um, probably we'll have to mount it on another sort of tripod or actually mount it on a coffee table. If I put it on a coffee table, which is lower height, I don't think I'm gonna have a problem. Um, so yes, the Wi-Fi works and the controlling system. Please connect to the 2.4 uh, gigahertz network first and then switch to the 5G if you have such a network in your home. Uh, other than that, I'm looking forward to see uh, the quality of the videos and I probably will have to invest or create some back depth into this background over here that's creating shadow. Of course it's creating shadow and it's creating sharp shadow if left alone. So I have to put in some decorum lights and create some depth of field in the future. What I am most curious about is the general quality of the video, which I'll probably uh, check as soon as I put this whole set on the computer. However, this unboxing probably took me, I don't know, five to 10 minutes to sort of unbox it and set it up. And I'm not talking here also like the showing and everything else. The most time consuming was the controlling, controlling the ring from my phone and setting it up with my internal network. But then again, we're special cupcakes and there's no way around that. Every time there has to be something that doesn't quite work smooth enough for us. Aesthetically wise, I will maintain that it's a very pleasant device and it looks professional, it looks expensive, uh, it is expensive actually compared to other alternatives that might one might find on the market, but I'm looking forward to using it for the next couple of months and see if it's all that jazz and if this is what I want to really invest in in the future and see how it performs and if I can actually put it horizontally and illuminate the board while I draw or what's the actual vibe that it's gonna give me. I hope you enjoyed the video. This was as real as I can give it to you, considering that I wasn't sponsored or anything by Elgato, but it's something I desperately needed to go to the next level with my video experimenting and making tutorials. Just to prove a point, we actually moved the ring light from its initial support, which is this, so that means Every time I jiggle the table, it's not going to be a waving problem. So if I touch something, because this is not, this is a temporary table, it's not something stable. So every time I touch something, the camera also wiggles with me. So it can create instability. Now imagine if you're playing a game and you get super angry and you smash the keyboard, the table, whatever you're smashing, everything is going to jolt with you. And as fun as as that might be as an effect, it's not going to be a good uh, result in terms of your camera stabilization and autofocusing because something's going to twitch there. And then you're going to end up with half the video, probably not in the right focus or with the sequence that you want it to be captured, like in extreme intensity of the punch, being out of focus completely. So we moved it to a um, very, very, very old tripod uh, I had. And I think this is a better fit for me because this way I can actually talk to the camera and talk to you and make some sort of eye contact. The thing I hate 
to make the most in this world. However, now I know what I'm looking. I don't have to stretch my neck upward and sit like this for half an hour and talk upwards to you. I can sit comfortably and relaxed and that will give me an edge when I actually have to do any type of presentations. So this is another first hack. This is probably gonna be mounted behind my computer screens for a place where to mount it when I'm not using it. But when I will plan to use it, I'm gonna put it on a tripod. So yeah, how about that? Now I need a better tripod because the one I have, the poor thing has been, uh, has been with me for more than five years and has been abused dearly. That's all I have to say for today. Thanks for watching. This is the Elgato Ring review. See you next time.